Hi, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a short review, a couple of close-ups, in my opinion, on this iRobot Roomba that I just bought from uh, Costco. Costco right now has a really good sale. Right now it's end of October. So right now at Costco, this Roomba is $349 minus $80 uh, rebate. We've been vacuuming every single day. We have two cats and I'm getting really tired of it. So I've decided to try this Roomba. This is something that I've been thinking about for a while. Uh, the price is good. This is iRobot version i4, i4150. And I just got it at Costco this morning. I'm gonna unpack it, see how it works, and I'm gonna let you know if it's worth it. So, after opening, this is the Roomba. It is not really that heavy. Now, we have a home button, clean button, and I don't know what it is, we'll find out in a minute. And then this is, I see, some kind of a bumper. I also read that because it bumps, uh, you can have a lot of bumps in the furniture. So my, uh, what I'm thinking maybe later, I'm gonna create some kind of a rubber bumper over here. On the bottom, we have a spinning wheel. We have a, some kind of a brushes over here. Now those are rubberized wheels and some kind of a brushes. They are made out of rubber. I don't know how long they're gonna last, but we'll see. And the dustbin is right here. You push this button, you can open it. And right see, right here you cannot make it wet. And here is a filter, that's the replaceable filter. And I see there is something on the on this side. Uh, oh, there's a button over here to open and dump this one. And there is another metal screen inside, right here. Now this Roomba comes with the base, cable, we have instructions, we have two extra filters, and, and I don't know what this is yet. I will find out in a moment. And I see the batteries. So according to instructions, uh, we need to connect the base to the outlet Put the Romba on the base, okay? And now we can see that the button clean is highlighted. And I've just installed the iHome robot app. I'm gonna run it and then uh, I'll let you know how everything works after I do a couple of tests. So we're running it for the first time for 15 minutes. So let's see how it's going to perform. The brushes will get everything from the side, and let's see how it's going to tack, tackle our chairs. Probably they will have to move them. It kind of works only in one spot instead of going forward, but let's see. Oh, it actually got in between the chairs. See how it's gonna work in between the chest. Let's see how it's going to work underneath my sofa. No, it's good. It's good. And I was thinking actually that it's gonna be much louder, but it's it's not that bad. It's much quieter than our regular vacuum. And I think it's been like 15 minutes right now. Let's see if the, the vacuum will come back to the base. <laughs> Actually, it did a pretty good job. I set it for 15 minutes. And to tell you the truth, it only did maybe half of this room. The half of this room is not done yet. So I probably have to extend the time to like half an hour. 15 minutes is not enough. 
So my Roomba is recharging right now. It was working for maybe like 15 minutes and then it died. So let's check how much hair it picked up. So this is how much hair my uh, orange cat loses. It's amazing. Look at this. That's why I had to vacuum once or even twice a day. The one good thing is that my cat is occupied and loves to watch the Roomba going left and right. And again, this is fifth time that this Roomba is going in this direction. So, in summary, the biggest problem of this robot is that it doesn't go in straight lines. Keeps bumping, changing angles, changing uh, directions. And therefore, sometimes this Roomba ends up in the same spot multiple times instead of going and doing the area that is, has not been done yet, which is the waste of time and energy. Like right now, it would be good if the Roomba could go straight forward to finish this whole line. And uh, as you can see, it just turned to the side for no apparent reason. And then it's going again to the area that it was vacuumed before. So decide by yourself if you have a small area where you don't want to vacuum every time and you're okay with Roomba bumping corners and not doing straight lines. So this is actually six time. It's doing exactly the same spot. So if you're happy with the way this works, good luck. I'm gonna be returning this product and I'm gonna get something that's gonna be smart so I can plan the uh, direction where I want actually vacuum. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.